The Kogi State Government and the candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Muritala Yakubu Ajaka in the state, have been trading accusations over skirmishes that took place on Saturday along Lokoja Abuja Highway in Kogi State. While the state government accused the SDP candidate of blocking the road upon citing the state governor's motorcade, he in turn said it was the governor who blocked the road and led an attack against him. In a statement signed by the Commissioner for Information in Kogiste Kinsley Fanwu, a Tundra vehicle branded with the logo of the SDP and with SDP flags blocked the governor's vehicle and occupants of the SDP branded Tundra were armed with rifles and shotguns. The statement said Governor Yaya Bello left the scene on scathe and there is no cause for panic as he is in high spirits. Well, let's speak to the man in question, Muritala Ajaka, who is the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Kogi State. Good evening and very warm welcome to Newsnight. Good evening, Mr. Godo. It's nice I, meeting you. I, I don't, you know, want to look at your physical frame and the tundra and, you know, some rifles and shotguns and the rest. Did that happen? It's not true. What happened? Um, at about 12 noon yesterday, we left the palace of uh, the Ohimege of Kotunkarifi, heading towards Lakoja. After about 10 minutes out of the palace, I saw the commissioner for solid mineral in the person of Ajina Gegu, Bashir Gegu. It's somebody that's familiar, I'm familiar with. Mm. So we exchanged greeting. And I proceeded on my journey to Lokoja. After 10 or 15 minutes of my meeting them, the next thing I saw a motorbike. When I saw the motorbike, I noticed the uh, rider of the governor. So I said to pull off the road. Before I could pull off, the next thing I had was gunshot. I was trying to radio the rest of my people that they should give way. Before the rest of my girls, they are attacking us. What is the problem? So I decided to put a call Cross to the CSO of the governor, Mr. Malik, what's happening? There's no warning. You should have let us know. At least you have my number. If, if you saw a crowd like this, you have to look for the leaders of that crowd. You have called me that the governor is coming behind. Were well, you should... blocking his path Not and at the all. rest? And Not the... at all. What I'm saying, because it, it was shocking to me, I suddenly saw the, motor, uh, motors, uh, the governor's motorbike. The next thing I saw the was gunshot. The outriders. The next thing I saw was gunshot on my car, on my bonnet. So I decided to park so that uh, the, 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 convoy the, the convoy could park, could pass. The next thing the governor passed and then parked his car, he started shooting. So I decided to call the CSO because these are people that I know very well. That what is happening? What's the problem? And you were still in your car? Yes. Or you took cover in the no, bush? No, I, I was in my car. I called him through my phone because these are people that I know very well. Mm. Before now, we were together. Before if the they government. shot at your car, you said they shot at the bonnet, so it must be a bulletproof uh, yes, car. Yes, they first shot at the bonnet because it's premiered there. Mm. Later again, they shot straight to the windscreen. So what saved me yesterday is because the car was a bulletproof car. Because the intention of the guy that shot at my car, I think he has the intention to kill. And why would that be? With politics yeah. of acrimony is, in Kogi is State uh, is always high on, on, on the table. Why? You see, that is their pattern. Whenever there's election season like this, there's a pattern. They always go after the strongest candidate that they know they can beat them. So it's not new. Particularly with SDP candidates, yeah, they and Boti Udwanga suffered that fate in 2019. Because Even in 2023, uh, a community road to her stronghold was allegedly dug up by uh, the government of Kogi State. That is their trademark. Have you, made, have you made, have you incident, incidented the case with the police? Yes, it did. Immediately it happened. I call on the CP mm. to inform him because 
my coming was the police were duly notified. The DSS were duly notified. And you don't, have any, you don't have any security escort with you? I have security escort. I think the intention was to provoke my own security into action. And I told them nobody should fire a single shot. Because I don't just understand where this is coming from. It's unfortunate we're having this kind of thing in our state. Every election season, we normally have this kind of violence. And it's been caused by the government. Like I said in other media forum, I think it's right time the federal government look into this case. Because if they, you, cannot, you cannot intimidate the people into submission. Democracy is about freedom of choice. Everybody should be allowed to express himself. Let the people choose among the multitude of candidates. But in the case of Kogi State, the governor wants to force everybody into submission, which is not possible. The situation in the state is this. We have, the state is built on three tripods. We have the west, the east, and the central. The governor happened to come from the central now. It is expected, after eight years, he said that the west or the east takes over to balance the fire equation in the state. But instead of the governor doing that, he brought in his brother from the same ward as his successor. So that provoked a lot of anger in the state. And he want to force all of us into supporting that arrangement. So most of us say, no, it can't go this way. As it is now, the state is polarized. And the earlier the federal government comes in, what they want to do in the state is to commit genocide. All because of election? All because of election. You know, tell me, how can I attack a sitting governor? Even bandits don't do that. Not to talk of a civilian like me. What they want to do yesterday was to kill me. And before now, I've written petition on this subject matter. Because the governor has threatened. Before now, I was the deputy national police secretary of the APC. He forced me out of the party. They forged the signature of my ward chairman, alleging that I've been suspended from the party, then took me to the state high court. On the eve of the party primary, the state high court gave an interim order affirming my purported suspension and disqualifying me from participating in the primary. Of course, as a national officer of the party and a member of the National Security Committee, I knew what they have done. The only way for me to participate in the, in the election is to go to another party. That's why I have to leave. Are you scared? Not at all. You're going to continue? Yeah, I'm going to continue because it's my right. And I will see it to the end. Because I believe very strongly I have the people and I'm the man to beat. And he knows that. But he's gotten all the instruments of state and the rest. And uh, how do you know you are the man to beat? Uh, democracy is about the people. And I'm very sure we've written to the federal government because he's using the instrument of state to suppress the citizen. And of course, when you try to oppress the people in an illegal way, the people are bound to react. We hope the federal government, through the intelligence network, will look into this matter by calling the governor to order. Very well, very well said. No better place to land than we too. We are given uh, His Excellency, the governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, the opportunity, the platform to come state his own position uh, and uh, as against what uh, Muritala Yakubu Ajaka uh, has just said, is the uh, Social Democratic Party gubernatorial candidate for the Kogi election in November. Thanks so very much for joining us on Newsnight. Thank you very much.